Hello. So we are going to talk about what is Ricoh GR, and is this little thing Ricoh GR? What generation is this? Is not important, and I don't even think you should really care. But I will tell you, I prefer GR one or GR two. But I will prefer GR one because the price is so cheap. But still, what is GR? Is is dog's memory? Is the world through Daido Moriyama's eye? Is most simplistic camera? Is the rebel against the mainstream cameras industry? Is something not your A7R4 or A7R5? Uh, is everything against uh, my my photography school? This normal bourgeois high megapixel detail macro contrast nonsense. Definitely not your professional workhorse, or not your contacts rich ass vacation camera. So today we. We really gonna discuss what is this Ricoh GR. This Ricoh GR, so many people just like it instantly. I have a friend, he's shooting X one hundred I exclusively, and he play with his Ricoh GR. He instantly, I'm、mm, gonna sell his, I'm、uh, gonna, I'm gonna sell my X one hundred F and buy a GR. In fact, the X one hundred F probably can find. Three or four Ricoh GR.、Uh, let's talk about this、uh, something I don't like. You know, we bring something I don't like first, and we talk about the greatness. So, first is snap mode. I know you all be fond of the snap mode, but、uh, in fact, I never use it. Also, I I almost hate it. Why? Because you you gonna ask yourself like why you want to limit yourself to a certain distance? Like if you already decide what's your next picture or something you already know, you know the composition, you know the subject matter, you know the story, then you can you really need to ask yourself: Are you really taking street photography? So the street photography on Wikipedia. I'm not gonna read it because I didn't Google it, but it's supposed to be capture something wondrous, the randomness on the street, which I don't find interesting. But this is truly something you should appreciate it because it's different than any other photography. Because the photo the photography I do, which is the girls and my friends, is mostly stage. You go there, standing here, and give me this pose and click. But street photography is something that you never know. You don't know. It's not. It's not even magnum. It's the randomness, the endless possibility. You are drawn into it. So why you limit yourself to a certain distance? For example, if something truly beautiful happened in the next minute. But your focus is far away, or some distance. That this beautiful thing just happened in front of your eyes. Then you truly screwed. The why you even into beautiful, amazing, powerful camera is because you want to prepare this in this possibility. So why you use that snap mode at first place? Okay, the next thing I don't really like is let me put the battery first.、Uh, Surprised me that GR battery is is very powerful, even though it doesn't have an OVF, no O OVF or EVF small. Is is this focus between macro and non macro? You have to change it and do the macro, and you have to change it back. It doesn't. I mean, it does. 
it, it does have a little flower on the left tell you it's a macro mode so you're not gonna focus something far away you can only do macro but it's very easy to forget I, I, I don't know I guess the lens design of this thing is but it, I guess just this is something I have, I have to get used to it I speak to macro mode the only the advantage of this camera versus X100F is the macro mode the GR is made for close focus so the focus will be sharp the picture is better on GR when you do macro on 100F a little bit soft I would say I don't know but GR just better in macro I mean pseudo small macro mode and but what is X100F is the flash is on top of the here on 100F so you will now have this uh, bad shadow well, not bad I mean interesting shadow on the left this is Rembrandt light this is more you more I don't know good light or something you don't know but this is more like a Rembrandt light but uh, if you have a white background your subject matter will have a little just a, a shape of shadow well I find not that irritating but it's there you have to be aware of this but that's okay uh, that's the only two things I don't really like about GR and uh, it's that I guess that's about it but but we're not talking about those physical nonsense and uh, I truly don't like and it's not physical it's more like a sensation that that I cannot describe it and it grown to me every day almost feel like real sickness that is the cult of a GR a cult classic Ricoh GR cult I think there's only two type of camera it's the Ricoh GR and all other camera or I say every street photographer the people into street photography either have a GR or Leica but think about this when a subculture a non-mainstream become a mainstream what the fuck is that when you read a book of a uh, memory of a dog by it's not really a book it's a collection of a magazine I uh, published that uh, just collection of published uh, I don't know they have an English version of it, but I'm reading a Chinese one so I know this uh, Daido Moriyama guy he talked about how this Minota's I don't know what model is that that camera that that camera no one really like it I mean they don't come on Minota camera don't have value okay let's be honest I mean whatever people came with me a Minota camera I'll say okay 50 bucks but if a Canon okay 200 so Minota don't have a value but back to this uh, Daido I mean a Minota camera is the only camera he have it's the only camera in his childhood that's the only thing in his house that's how this Dido guy get into photography because that's the only thing he can do just shoot photo and he liked this color this shatter sound and I also know a passage say how Olympus pay him to do a commercial how he taken street photography by Olympus MJ, MJ1 MJU1 not, not even MJU2 okay it's, it's a first generation but I mean he don't really talk about this camera much I mean he he use it I, I see some picture he use it at the Micro Four Third version of it he use a film version of it he he use it but he's not using it, but he doesn't really care so at this point you probably know what I'm mean what I'm leading this to when your idol when the the people you try to emulate don't even care the way you emulate it so why should you there's the ideology do you really want to be Albert Einstein you probably watch that that big Bang theory no the, the Sheldon show right so do you really try to live and shoot in his shadow do you try to be or you try to surpass it 
So I would say if you're into street photography and you destined to go far, go be something greater than this Dido guy, just avoid using high contrast black and white or street photography in black and white. <laughs> Try to be something different. In fact, I recently, I not recently, last year, I know it is possible to shoot GR, shoot camera. <laughs> it is possible to use a GR to do something non-street photography related. In fact, I'm pretty fond of this now. I use the GR to shoot girls' photo, and they love it so much. They, it, it, it has some different character adding to my own practice. I know form follow function, but ultimately it's you decide how things should function. I will give this GR camera credit because Ricoh does make you shoot something different. It kind of dragged me into this post-world Tokyo, Japan with this high contrast black and white. It gave a sense of memory that a harsh re reality from long distance, a thing that you forgot. There's no detail, but no color, but. So, ah, fuck, where is it? So, no, no emotion. Yeah, for sure, no emotion. Because emotion equal color and the high contrast of black and white don't have emotion. I know a guy yeah, I don't know if you're watching this but yeah. He exclusively shoot black and white. Actually most of people exclusively shoot black and white. I guess this poetic of not telling a full story or a sense of a, a harsh reality from long distance is really hit people the most but I respect his own po poetic in this kind of a art but I would really encourage you guys to uh, push something far further I don't know people watching this video my western audience because uh, I have a two separate audience one western people one east uh, I don't know people can appreciate the high contrast black and white or this Daido Moriyama uh, style because I don't know the people into our channel probably just want to see expensive gear how Leica M10D is better than whatever nonsense okay uh, I don't know you guys feel this high contrast black and white, but I always be skeptical, skeptical about this. When I first year in in university, I I mean this high contrast black and white is something I'm super familiar with because I don't know how metering work. I okay, I just go there. They say photography easy. Go there, you can get a. Okay, yeah, I'll just go there get a because how easy is that? Just click the picture, right? And, oh fuck, it's a film photography. What the fuck is a film? I never see film. Can I use my iPhone? No, you cannot. Okay, fuck. And the fucking camera don't even have an auto mode, so I just I I don't even know. I go there for we call this water class. So you just go there, drink water, and get a. So I was expecting this water class, but that's something never happened, and I didn't get a. I don't even know how this camera work. I know it's stupid. Look where I am now. I have a, a studio, a photography store. I dedicated myself to photography and something related. But n not long before, not long after, not long before, I'm a high school, no, college student that don't know anything about camera. And that's the truth. So what I'm saying is, uh, the photo I had in that class all look like this high contrast black and white, because I don't know how metering work. I don't even know how manual camera work. I click and expecting picture came out, which picture did came out, but in a high contrast black and white form because I have to pull the shadow. In fact, teachers said. Dude, you don't have anything, man. 
so you have to push the shadow. No, no, you have to pull everything to have some contrast to see something. Otherwise, there will be no picture. All blank. Not some some picture, but it's just bad. And I don't even know how things develop. So by that time, all my photo look like the Dino Moriyama thing because it's all shit photo. Yeah, obviously I failed that class, but that memory of a black and white photo never go away in my entire life. Yeah, because I failed that only class. So back to this subject matter. So I don't know you guys feel this because it's not a capital bourgeois-ish. Uh, if if you say this GR can do high contrast black and white, I tell you what, my cheap iPhone can do this too. And in fact, all camera will do this high contrast black and white if you just click and pull the contrast in whatever software you get. It's not a good result, but as I said, when when subculture became mainstream, what the fuck, right? So I would encourage you guys to be something different. I don't know how many people watching this. You see, I only do girls photo, and that's the only thing I would know. But with this street photographer cult or GR thing, it can give you a truly different feel. And of course, I will link the photo, but.、Uh, Other thing besides this high contrast black and white is the positive film, which is not look like positive film. It's not. What basically did is saturated red and blue, but it's beautiful. If I feel too happy about everything, it's a a joy. A happiness overflow and turn to solitude. You see the a fiery lips in a cold reality. You feel the passion against the sad.、So、I would say this is the best color in entire digital camera lineup. No matter what camera you throw, it's this color is better. But only suit for certain situation. It's not suit for for everything. It's not like a Fuji Eterna. That preset is good, but that's suit for for suitable for most situation. But this Ricoh GR positive film is, but it's, it's good. So please comment down below. What do you think about this、uh, Ricoh GR positive film? And what situation you think this will do the best? Lastly, when you have a GR, you basically free your left hand. You can use it anything. You can.、Uh, I once、uh, have this camera with holding a lightsaber to illuminate a subject. So very good. And I don't like is、uh, I change the hand strap to neck strap because. Well, I can use my two hands to do something else, right? I guess that's it for today. And、uh, all the photo is using GR today.、Uh, bye bye.